and welcome to Fallout Shelter. This is Jewel Smith. And today I'm going to be streaming a little bit of Fallout Shelter. The springtime for Adam quest showed up in my overseer's office. So we're going to go do the springtime quest line. Looks like there are six quests. And hopefully we'll be able to do them all today. Let me hop over to Twitter, send out a tweet, because YouTube notifications don't always work for everyone, so if you want to follow me on Twitter, that's a good way to know when I'm streaming. And I'll hop over to the chat room. Let's go into the vault. Now, the last time I streamed Fallout Shelter was for St. Patrick's Day, which was just a few weeks ago, about a week ago, week and a half ago. Um, I didn't know these springtime quests were going to show up. I mean, I kind of suspected they would. I think I had read somewhere that they existed, but I didn't know if I would get them or when exactly they would show up. Um, they showed up shortly after or right about the same time that spring started. But uh, I don't think Easter is for another few weeks. So I don't know if these are going to be available all the way through Easter or what. But they're a limited time quest line. And there we go. Springtime for Adam. I went ahead and sent some vault dwellers out. So they would be ready to go. When I started streaming. And I've also got a couple of other quests that are ready to go. We can do those as well. But I want to get through the right of spring. Hello Michael and hello Lord Runoff. Welcome to the chat room. <laughs> Lord Runoff is saying to send dwellers to their doom. Well hopefully it won't be their doom. Hopefully it will be pretty easy for them. I think the required level is uh, level 12 for this first quest and for the last quest it's level 17. I've got lots of level 50 dwellers, so I don't think it's going to be a problem. It's going to be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Alright, the right of spray spraying. Investigate radioactive spraying incidents. Okay, it says we've had reports of nearby settlers being randomly sprayed with radioactive material by unknown assailants. We should deliver some rat away to those settlers and find out more about the attacks. And here we are. We have Herman, Celtic Granny, and Ice Stella all ready to go in and do this quest. So let's do it. <laughs> BB guns for everyone, Lord Ronolf is saying. <laughs> you want me to make it hard on purpose? Now, I've been working long and hard on this vault, and I have lots of high-level vault dwellers and lots of high-level weapons. Lots of legendaries and lots of pets for bonuses. This is not a very big building or a very long quest here. So here is I, Stella. She's got the Burn Master Legendary Flamethrower. She also has the commander uniform, which I think is the legendary version of that particular outfit. There's Celtic Granny. She has the destabilizer, which I think is the legendary version of the alien blaster. And she has the elder robe. And we have her... Oh, and Celtic Granny, sorry. Celtic Granny also has uh, a pet, Sophie, who is a German shepherd. And Herman, Herman has got Bounty Hunter gear, which is pretty good gear there. I'm not sure if it's a legendary. And he's got an alien blaster, and he's got a super cool parrot, Vinny the Gray Parrot, that we got from a special quest. All right, here we go. I think they can, they can deal. Thank you so much for helping us. We really appreciate it. Sure, any time. Those religious fanatics said they had some good news for us. Oh no. Is it the children of Adam? Then they started spraying people left and right. I bet it is the children of Adam. I managed to avoid it, but others weren't so lucky. Some have even been ghoulified. That's why it's called springtime for Atom, I bet. 
Religious fanatics, you say? Did they mention why they were doing this? Do religious fanatics really need a reason? They kept saying we should rejoice that Easter is coming. Don't know what that means. Ah, okay. I'm gonna loot this place while we're in here. And continue on. Oh, when it sparkles like that, it means that there's things we can loot. We have got lots of stim packs now. We're all ready to go. Well, there's a BB gun, I think. Take a look. Oh, no, it's an enhanced hunting rifle. Oh, <laughs> that's a little better than a BB gun. Just a little bit. Yeah, we're probably not going to get anything terribly exciting on this quest line because it's such a low level. We're going to fight rad roaches, possibly mole rats. Nothing as exciting as an alpha death claw. And we're probably not going to find terribly exciting junk either. Look, someone is finally here to help us. Not a moment too soon. A few more hours and my friend here would have gone feral. I don't know how we're going to help. Uh, curse those children of Atom fanatics. Yeah, I figured it was them. They can put that Easter of theirs where the sun don't shine. Easter stand for? Are you sure it was the children of Adam? Are there any more victims? Oh, what does Easter stand for? Is she gonna know? No idea, but they kept saying it was coming. Some god or goddess, maybe? Hmm. Oh, we found some weapon plans. Probably duplicates of something I already have, because I've already found lots and lots of plans. Well, they made short work of that, didn't they? Now they just found a laser pistol, but I know it's not a very good one because it sparkled green when I picked it up. If it sparkles blue, then it's the intermediate range weapon. And if it sparkles gold, then we know it's a legendary. I don't get it. What's the point of randomly irradiating people? Well, what's the point of anything that religious fanatics do? Oh, we have to fight a glowing one. This can get difficult. Good thing we brought extra right away. Yes, indeed. Oh, wow. That didn't take long. Must not have been a very powerful glowing one. Oh, we got some soda pop. That'll help us get back. That might be a BB gun. Let's take a look. Nope. Just another enhanced rifle, I guess. Okay. Let's go ahead and heal everyone up. Even though they didn't really take much damage, but we might as well. And we are all done with the quest. We are all done searching the building. We've talked to settlers, talked to settlers, and talked to more settlers. So let's go back to the vault. Do, 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 do. Oh, Lord Ronolf is doing an impression of a vault tech executive. <laughs> Trying to make it hard on the vault dwellers. Vault tech sucks, don't they? 
Oh, uh, what does times two objective do? That's a good question. Times two objective means that if there's an objective, here, I'll show you. If there's an objective here in these, see it says objectives. These are kind of like little, well, objectives, little mini questy kind of things that you get rewards for making friends in the wasteland. That one's hard, but I'm gonna take that one off. Equip dwellers with a combat shotgun. That's kind of lame. I've got way better weapons than that now. But anyway, like surviving 10 deathclaw attacks in the vault, then I get a pet carrier. Uh, crafting eight rare weapons, I get some caps. Um, if it said something like, uh, I don't know, find X number of objects in the wasteland or, or um, do this or that when you're on quest. There, there's different objectives that have to do with finding things or doing things when you're out on quests or when you're out in the wasteland. Um, so if you have the times two objective bonus, it means that if you find, say, if it said find eight hunting rifles and we found one hunting rifle, it would count for two. All right, so it, it, it's basically helping you get to your objective faster. Um, but I don't ever need to worry about that, really. I I don't really care. <laughs> but I just assign the pets because the pets are cool. I like, I like having everyone have little pet companions. Now some quests, if I know they're really, really difficult quests... Here, I'll take a look at the pets here. Uh, R1, okay. Aw. Uh, if they're going on a super difficult quest, like a level 50 quest that requires, you know, really, really high damage weapons or something, then I say, oh, they're going to need a lot of help. So I might send them out with something that would help. Like this one does more damage. Um, this one gives damage resistance. Damage resistance. Let's see. But there's some that only apply to things that happen on quests. There's some that apply to things that happen in the vault. Um, like this one, 31% wasteland junk. I'm pretty sure that that's like if I sent her out into the wasteland. Because I can do that. You can send any of your vault dwellers out to explore the wasteland. They don't have to go on a quest. They can just be sent out to explore. And they'll wander around. Well, let's... Oh, no, 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 I didn't want to do that. Sorry. Who was that? Sarah Lyons. What did I do? Uh, let's go find... There we go. Swap that back. Um, I don't know where... Where's my purple hair <laughs> adventurer here that we were just looking at? But, uh, like, for instance, you can only have three pets at a time in a room. The game won't let you have more than that. So you can't... If you have six people in the room, only three of them are going to be allowed to have pets. Um, but what I did was I gave a lot of these folks this cat that increases stranger chance so the mysterious stranger is more likely to show up in this room than in other rooms and so if I hear the mysterious stranger music I can go straight to this room and click through it and just see if he's there sometimes he is I mean it does seem to work a little bit um, but anyway, I was going to say, I was going to show you, I can send people out into the wasteland. Actually, let's move him down to the enduring. Oh no, just like, why are you leaving? Come here. Move him over here. Just put you in the workshop for now. Um, oh no, Rod Scorpion attack. Those are bad. Rad scorpions can do a lot of damage to your population very quickly. And for the duration of the time that they're in the vault, they will suck up your electricity. So if you have a low level vault, they can really be a pain in the neck. Oh, I guess they took care of it. Uh, but you'll notice there, my electricity bar at the top now is missing some. And that's because that rad scorpion was sucking up electricity. 
while it was attacking me. Um, anyway, we were trying to find... Hang on, let me find her. Let me find somebody to send out into the wasteland. Just at random. There she is. Kimberly Awesome. Named for one of my viewers, Kimberly. Oh, she's in the warehouse. Okay. So if we pick her up and just send her out to the wasteland right here, we can give her some stim packs. I might as well give her the max. And we can give her some right away. Assuming you have some because you've been making it. Uh, and then we can just say explore. It's not going to give us any epic music, but... But see, her cat means that she's going to be more likely to find junk for crafting while she's out in the wasteland. 31% more likely. Grab these to make up for the ones we sent with her. Alright, so she's going to go out there. Oh, she's so excited. gonna give her a chance to get out there into the wasteland. There she goes. Now we can look at her. Now see she's out running. And there'll be this like running commentary on what's happening. It'll say oh she found uh, this weapon or oh she fought this monster or oh she did this thing. Um, and you can leave her out there so long as she has stim packs and right away she can go exploring. So some of the pets help with bonuses for objective completion that way. Or with helping to find more junk of some kind or another or something. Or helping them resist damage while they're out there exploring. See, she found a department store. She found a minefield. Alright, so we'll leave her out there to have a good old time. Now, once in a while, they'll find locations. Like, they might find a Red Rocket truck stop or a little cabin or something. And you'll get a little notification. It'll say, oh, Kimberly has found a Red Rocket truck stop. Do you want to go explore? And then you can say yes, and it will take you to the Red Rocket truck stop, just like you do with the quests. So it's kind of like a really tiny little random quest sort of thing. Oh, okay. Lord Runoff is saying that times two objective perk is one I haven't seen while playing on my phone. Okay, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I'm playing on PS4, so I thought they pretty much were the same across all platforms. But yeah, maybe they're a little different. Hi, Master Shot. How are you? Oh, that's true. Lord Runoff says Wasteland Explorers will return on their own if they survive long enough to reach their carrying capacity. I had that happen once. I've only had it happen one time. I sent somebody out. I think it was Herman I sent out. It might have been Herman or, or Nemo. I sent somebody out and they got full up. I didn't know that was possible, but I went to check on them and then it was like, oh, they're coming back now. <laughs> and I said, what? I didn't ask him to come back, but yeah, he'd reached his max capacity. Alright, so we have some folks here that are ready to do quests. We have Kimberly exploring the wasteland, and these folks are coming back from the first Children of Atom Springtime for Atom quest line quest. If we spend, now see it says returning to the vault in one hour and 13 minutes. Now, uh, if I wasn't live streaming, I might just leave them and come back later. You know, turn the game off, go eat dinner or whatever, <laughs> and come back and play later and then not have to spend the Nuka Quantums to bring them back. But since I'm streaming, I'm going to go ahead and spend the bottle, bring them back. Yeah, see, I already had that one. And I already have all of these. I've made all the themes. And I've pretty much almost made every single weapon and piece of clothing in the game. 
either made it or found it. There's not much left for me to do here. Um. Oh, and there's a couple of. Oh no, we have a raider attack. Oh, they're fine. The more often that you open your vault door, the more often you'll get attacked. So, I pretty much every time I bring people in from uh, a mission, I pretty much expect to get attacked, to be honest. I'm surprised if I'm not attacked when I open the vault door. We have four raiders, and we have our sentinels at the front entrance. Got a fat man. And a fat man. They both have fat man. Oh no, my robot. Yes, let's repair the robot. It's a bummer you can't repair the robot till he actually goes down. I wish you could keep him in repair. Now see, this is a crappy piece of battle armor. So I'm just gonna sell it. That's what we got from the raiders. Some caps and some armor. Right. There we go. Good job. I'm actually going to take them. They need to do some training. What are you doing, Santa? Why are you leaving? Here, Santa can go in the pop factory. Nuka Cola plant. I'm gonna put somebody else on duty here at the door. Oh, we have a visit from Bottle and Cappy. If we keep an eyeball on bottling Cappy, we might be able to get some free caps and free bottles of Nuka Quantum. Hey Nemo, how you doing? <laughs> Michael is saying, I had problems with finding good weapons for my dwellers and the rad roaches killed too many of them. Well, yeah, when you first start out the game, you're not going to find much more than BB guns, maybe a, you know, a revolver or something. You're going to find really low, low damage weapons. It's a very gradual progression. Um, the challenges increase as the number of dwellers increase. So you don't want to increase your population too quickly. Um, I, th that's kind of the... The trick to the game is very slow and steady growth and it's not a game that's meant to be played like I mean it, it's originally a mobile game so it's not meant to be like you to just sit down and play it for hours and hours and hours on end um, unless you want to spend a lot of money on it which I don't I haven't spent a dime on this game so it's kind of a game where you have to play a little bit and then leave it and come back to it a few hours later play a little bit and gradually play it over the course of many, many days and weeks and months. I mean, I've been playing this game for months to get to the point that I'm at here. Just a tiny bit every day. I mean, at this point, I don't play it every day anymore. Um, I used to play it for like maybe 15, 20 minutes every day for, gosh, a period of maybe two or three months. And then now I play it like maybe every couple of days I check in on them. But um, yeah, when you first start out and the vault is got a very low population, you're gonna have, you're gonna find very low level weapons. And part of the trick is trying to get people sent out into the wasteland so that they will find things for you like this lady here. And they'll bring back more weapons. The longer that they can manage to stay out without dying, uh, the more and better things they'll find. It's kind of part of the trick there. But it is it is very much a resource management game. You have to be very careful about making sure you have enough water and food for everyone. You want to eventually be able to make these the hospital and the science center so that you can have stim packs and rataway. 
Because if you have stim packs, then you can stim your residents so they won't die during an attack. And of course you have to have enough power to power all the rooms that you have built. So yeah, it's definitely a game of, of balance and slow and steady growth. All right, I wanna check in here. What did I make? A long institute. Oh, see, I got a quest. Oh, never mind then. We got the quest, R1, what does it say? Kimberly Awesome has discovered a red rocket truck stop. Do you want her to go in? Heck yeah, let's go check it out. So, um, yeah, you'll wanna try to get the best weapons and armor that you got, which isn't gonna be great in the beginning of the game. But give it to one person and send that person out into the wasteland so they can bring back more stuff for your settlers. Or, well, I guess they're not settlers. They're vault dwellers. Ooh, she's going to fight some death claws. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, my goodness. This could end up using up a lot of our impacts. Now she's only going to be able to fight one at a time, but both of them are going to give her damage. It's going to take her a while to kill them. It's just a matter of whether she's going to be able to outlast. If her stim packs are going to let her outlast them. Ooh, we got a... There we go. We got a critical. Now she won't be taking quite as much damage. Oh, she got him. Excellent. Oh, right. Okay, right. With certain uh, weapons, I forgot about this. Certain weapons do have an area of effect. Uh, I think this is one of them. So she actually was doing damage to both Death Claws at the same time. I take that back. Some weapons you can't though. A lot of the weapons, it just usually the standard ballistic weapons, you're only going to be damaging one death claw at a time or one enemy at a time. But uh, yeah, this one, the damage gets divided between both of them. So if she does, what is her weapon? 22. That means she was doing 11 to both of them, I think, if I understand correctly. All right. So we destroyed the two death claws and we're gonna search and she's finding oh my gosh she found a lot of right away and stim packs and she found legendary plans to make a legendary weapon I think that was uh, but I'm probably already got it because I think I've already got all the legendary plans collected already so it might end up being a duplicate but that's fine all right so that was a pretty good deal she found a ton of stim packs and right away which means that we're probably going to be able to leave her out there like Lord Runoff was saying leave her out until her inventory is full up and yes I want her to continue exploring the wasteland yep legendary weapon recipe you guys probably won't get to see that though it's going to take her days of like real time <laughs> to, to load up all her inventory and uh, and then turn around and come back to the vault so it'll be something that happens later on when i check in all right so what were we gonna do i was gonna go grab these weapons okay the long institute rifle and the reason this is taking me a minute is because i actually keep a list i'm keeping a list written down of the things that i'm making because i'm trying to make at least one Make or collect at least one of every weapon. Alright, so let's cross it off my list. Long Institute Rifle. Collect it. Leveling him up. And then... Oh. What was that one? Well, let's check our inventory and see. Oh, Big Sister! Alright, we'll cross her off the list. Right. See, if we look at my album here, this will show you everything that you've either created or collected. 
if you find or make at least one of something, or someone shows up in your vault, a new vault dweller comes in carrying one of these, and it goes into your little scrapbook here. And these are all the weapons. See, I have made or found at least one of all of these. So that's all the greens, all the blues, and now I just have a few legendaries that are missing. Alright, we just picked up Big Sister. There's a few more, and we got the long institute rifle. Alright, so I've got a few more legendary weapons to make, and then I will have filled up my, my scrapbook. Level these folks up. Alright, but we're here to do the springtime quest. <laughs> Not to do all of this stuff necessarily. Alright, so what's next? Spring forward, fall back. Confront the local children of Atom leader. Our investigation has indicated that a local chapter of the Church of the Children of Atom was responsible for their recent toxic spraying attacks. We have to confront their leader, Confessor Alvarado, and tell him to stop these attacks or else. Alright. Oh, yep, Lord Runoff is, is uh, pointing out, yeah, the area of effect weapons spread damage among enemies. They will not do full damage to each enemy. Yep. I just... I, I, the, the Fat Man's are an area of effect weapon. What are some of the others? Is the Missile Launcher an area of effect weapon? I think it is. I don't know what others do area of effect, though. I think most of the others are just individual damage. Oh, that's true. Lord Runoff is saying with the pet that she's got, she might fill her inventory sooner. Yeah, but it still won't be within this live stream, I don't think. <laughs> It'll take her a few days. Not a not an hour to fill up. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, okay. Missile launcher and fat man are the only area of effect weapons. Okay. But what's cool is the uh, I think it's the 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 miniguns and the Gatlin lasers. Um they fire many bullets so if you manage to finish off like if you're in a room full of raiders and you manage to kill a raider but you still have shots coming out of your weapon those shots will go on to the next raider you don't lose them so they're not exactly like an area of effect weapon but you can sometimes damage more than one enemy with those weapons i've seen it happen it's pretty cool all right so let's see here who are we going to send on the next quest? Let's see how... Where is Marie Christine? Who's a character we created for Michael. At Michael's request. There she is. Well, I think we could send her. I think she's definitely level 13 and has a weapon that does at least 4 yeah. damage. <laughs> She does a lot of a lot of damage with her weapon. We can handle that. And who else shall we send? Okay, yeah, Lord Runoff is saying the automatic weapons will switch to another target if they have damage left. Yeah. Nice. Well, I just saw Nemo in the chat room, so let's do Oh, Nemo, you're already out on a quest. We'll have to go do your quest that I sent you out on. You're not here in the stable. You've been sent out <laughs> for a ride. Alright, well who else do I have characters for? Is Herman here? And George Perez? <laughs> He's a frequent viewer. We'll send George. And we'll send Sulfur Furious. I think Sulphur is here today, but I just saw Sulphur the other day. Maybe he'll stop by. Oh. Well, 
Let's see, where is... Oh, I think Sulphur's already out on a quest, too. Alright, well, let's send S. Popal Hughes. Another long-time viewer. <laughs> Alright, we'll load you up. That's the max you can carry. And I'll go ahead and spend the bottles to send you out on the quest right now. Oh, hey, Barbarian King, how are you? I thought you were here earlier. Have you been here the whole time? Or did you just show up? I'm so used to you being here all the time. <laughs> I just assumed you were here. All right, let's go. What do we need to do here? Welcome weary travelers. Have you come to wash yourself in Atom's glow? Oh no, we're gonna need our rat away, aren't we? Just come a little closer. No, thank you. Stay away, you freak. No thanks, we're here to politely ask you to stop spraying people. Alright, I'm going to start with the, the charisma check first. You can't stop us, we're on a mission from Atom. Okay. Well, diplomacy didn't work, so... Here we go. Oh, they've got a baseball bat and a pool cue and a knife. Uh, we'll make short, short work of them. That, see, that just happened with George. George was shooting the one guy, and then he turned around and shot the other guy in mid-turn because he had a few shots left. Yeah, the Gatlin laser is one of those. Multiple shot weapons. Ooh. Well, they didn't last long. <laughs> Nemos. <laughs> you always call the children of Adam freaks and kill them. They're the Thalmor of Fallout. <laughs> They are weirdos. Rejoice! Easter is coming. We still don't know exactly what they mean by Easter. I'm gonna assume that it's something other than, you know, E A S T E R. Easter, Easter, with, you know, the eggs and the bunnies and whatnot. Gonna be some weird thing. Oh, more right away. Now at this point we could probably skip to the top floor and it might conclude the quest. But I'm gonna go ahead and go floor by floor. Might as well. And every eye shall be blind with his glory. Okay. They're all wearing tattered rags and... I don't think there's actually children of Atom items in this game. Like, I don't think there's the, uh, you know those guns that they use? The gamma guns or whatever? I don't think we have those in this game. But I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. 
I think Confessor Cromwell is a character you can run into here, though. And he wears the tattered rags. But really, they should. They should have some kind of weapon that's dealing a lot of radiation damage. Just like in the, in the game. Oh, here's some more. Surrender yourselves to Atom. No, thank you. Oh. He's got a meat cleaver and a pickaxe. Uh, we don't even have to waste any criticals on them. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Please, I beg you, let us put an end to all this violence. Oh, now you want to put an end to the violence? Now that we've kicked all y'all's asses, Adam seems to smile on you and we must acknowledge this. Mm-hmm. Also, you have out- you have us outgunned, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. I am Confessor Alvarado. What do you want from us? Stop harassing people. Stop spraying people at random. Give me one good reason not to shoot you. Alright, stop spraying people. Fine. We only do this to save the daylight, but we'll find other less intrusive ways. Save the daylight? It's like daylight savings time? Ah uh, ha ha. I see. Oh, we got more Nuka Quantum. And more stim packs. So we've co we're we're coming out with more stim packs and more right away than we went in with. All right. Well, let's go ahead and heal everybody up before we send them back to the vault. All right. I guess that's it. Yeah, daylight savings is a thing we do in the U.S., but not everybody does it everywhere here. It's really confusing. Do you guys do it in Europe? Or other places in the world, do they do daylight savings where you change the clock time? I wish they would stop doing it here. Okay, we're done with this quest. Let's go back to the vault. Nemo is saying Fallout's biggest secret is the children of Atom worship a rabbit. <laughs> is he named Harvey? <laughs> Alright, let's bring them back. Select our goodies. Oh, we got a lunchbox. Now right there, you guys see where it has an unhappy face? And I only got 20 caps. That was not my fault. I think that was a game glitch. It happens once in a while. I always have 100% happiness in my vault, but every once in a while when I log in, it's almost like the game data doesn't catch up with the evaluation process or something, and I get an F. And it says I have, like, no happiness, and it's just not true. Don't believe it. It's not true. Alright. So we got a lunch box. Now I think I've got a whole bunch of people. Who is this? Oh. For some reason they didn't let her in. I think I've got a whole bunch of people on coffee break, so let's take care of this. Yes, that's what we'll use. Shall we put him? Well, there's a bunch of people milling around in the workshops here. Death claw attack. Here we go.
See, I gotta use Stimpaks real quick to make sure they don't die. Even with all the armor and the levels that they have. I have to make sure folks don't die. Now, if I cycle through them very quickly, it'll auto-stim them. So long as I have Stimpaks in my inventory, see, it automatically gave them Stimpaks when they needed them. All right, here they come. There's only one left. And we did it. Survived another death claw attack with no casualties. They got some wounds, but nobody died. We heal everybody up. Alright, I still needs to go back into her diner. She wasn't there to help protect from the death boss. Alright, who else is on coffee break? Herman. We'll put you in the workshops, even though there's nothing to work on right now. Celtic Granny. We'll put her in the coffee shop with Ice Stella. George Perez. Is there any more room in the coffee shop? Yes, there is. It's quite the biker bar they've got going on there. A lot of high-level tough folks hanging out to defend the vault. Alright, and up oh, Marie. Now, we were working on her skills because she doesn't have her skills maxed out. So let's put her back to work here. Working on some of her skills. Oh, and here comes Bottle and Cappy again. Now, now, see, this I don't need. This is garbage, so we'll just trash that. This is garbage. All garbage weapons. Nemo says, yeah, we have fall back and spring forward. Right. Okay, so you guys do it too, huh? I thought it was just some weird thing that we did in the U.S. Hey, Barbarian King, if you're still there, do you want a character named after you? And if so, what would you like? I could take one of my dudes and name him Barbarian King. <laughs> oh, Michael is saying you do have daylight savings, but you will stop soon. And Russia already did it. Oh, Russia did away with it? I just don't really understand the point of it. I mean, I get that it's to have a longer day cycle in the summer. Because, like, where I am, it'll stay sunlight out until, like, 9 o'clock at night. But I don't necessarily like that. <laughs> it would always make it hard for my kids to go to sleep. They would be all wound up until after the sun went down, you know? When they were little. I mean, now it's not that big a deal, but when they were little, it was so hard to get them to go to bed in the summertime. It drove me crazy. Mm -hmm. 
All right, let's take a look here. Yes, it looks like Nemo's Vault Dweller. And Sulfur Furious and Toss Lavo are out doing Spelunking training. Let's go ahead and check that one out. The annual Spelunking competition is coming up, but which dwellers should go? Let's send tough and lucky dwellers to explore a cave and see how well they do. All right, we might as well do this one while we're here. This is a quest that shows up repeatedly in the overseer's office. I've done this one probably like five or ten times now. I don't remember. I've lost track of how much I've done this one. All right, so here we have Tosswavo, Sulfur Furious, and Alan McGee. Alan's got lots of health. Archie's giving him a good health bonus. And he's got an amplified alien blaster. And he's got the heavy metal. Heavy metal armor on. Sulfur has got a greaser outfit. Leather jacket. <laughs> an alien blaster. And Toswabo has Muffin. I think that's a little bulldog. And an amplified Gatling laser. That's a kick-ass weapon. And Scribe Rothschild's Robe, which is a special legendary item. Little jeweled crown on his head. Alright, let's go. Ooh, we found some legendary junk. That's good. It's all for one and one for all, I guess. They're the three musketeers. Death paws. to the big room first. Oh, we found some weapons and caps. Ah, some other spelunkers. Dwellers can't beat a team of former overseers. We know how you think. We can see your every move. We control you. Now take your proper places and bring us the Spelunking Crown. Nice try, but an overseer already controls our every move. Our overseer wants us to kill you. <laughs> we'll go with that one. They're probably going to fight anyway, so. So we're being watched right now? Interesting. Yes, you are. I'm watching you. Oh, so they didn't attack. The charisma selection worked. <laughs> the charisma check. Yes, we met the other Spelunking competitors. My body aches all over. Yeah, I know the feeling, dude. 
Oops, little bitty room. What's it gonna be? Nothing. We're not finding much in here. Of course, I say that, and the next room we go into is probably gonna have 15 duck paws in it. Spelunking is a piece of cake. The overseer is sure to send us to the spelunking competition now. We got a bunch of goodies. And we are done. We do not have to continue. We can go back to the vault if we want to. But let's keep pressing on. And see what else we find. We have plenty of stim packs and right away. Ooh, a glowing one. That Let's see if we can get a good critical. There we go. Got a good critical on the glowing one. Oh, we found another leather jacket. <laughs> All right. Well, let's head up here and see what we find. Then after we do this quest, we'll go back and do the next springtime for Atom quest. Need to get a move on on those. I <laughs> think there's still four more to do. soda bottle. Lots of little tiny rooms. Some wonder glue. And a glowing rad rose. Heal everybody up. Not bad. I'm going to go ahead and unlock <laughs> the elevator, even though there's not going to be anything exciting there. We did the whole thing. Great job, guys. Return to the vault with our booty. Get your booty back to the vault. <laughs> and then we'll go to the next springtime for Atom Quest. Oh, we can go back to the vault right now if we spend one bottle. Oh, sure, why not? We found four, so we'll still have three. Oh, see, there's Kimberly finding a whole bunch of things. See, that's her adventures thus far. Look at all the things she's done. All right. Yeah, I know it says low storage space. It's, it's no big deal. Don't worry about it. I still have plenty of room. Look at that. I've got a hundred, almost a hundred and forty still available, so it's fine. Don't worry about that message. It pops up a lot even when it's not really a problem. We 
could go ahead and open our lunchbox, though, and see what we got. Probably a whole bunch of junk that I don't really need. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, we got more Nuka Quantum. That's nice. But everything else has just been garbage. Yep. Garbage, 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 and garbage. You get to a high enough level and the lunchbox stuff really isn't that much of a help anymore, but... Oh, well. Okay. So what have we got? Wasteland, doctoring... Alright, we need to send some folks out on the next quest. Springtime for Atom. Easter is coming. Help the children of Atom recover an ancient artifact. Professor Alvarado has agreed to put a stop to radioactive spraying, and as a sign of goodwill, we've agreed to help the church recover a sacred circuit board, rumored to contain data about the ancient rite of Easter. Ah, okay. All right, well, now we have Alan back. We'll send him. We'll go ahead and send Marie. Since Michael is in the chat room. And who else can we send? You want to go with Kate? How about we send Kate with you? There you go. I'm going to spend the bottles to send you out right now and start the quest so we don't have to wait. See, otherwise, you'd have to send them out on the quest and then, you know, do something else for eight hours and come back later. <laughs> like I said, mobile game. Not really designed to be played all in one go. But uh, what I do is I save up a whole bunch of Nuka Quantum bottles so that when I do live streams, I can do this. And just blaze through the quest lines without waiting. Ah, you must be the vault dweller sent to help us out. Adam be praised. I'm Brother Thaddeus, and this is Sister Olivia. Okay. The sacred circuit board must be somewhere around here. This is where Brother Will was last seen. Who's Brother Will? Aren't you going to help us find it? No, of course they're not. Who is Brother Will? Let's find out more about the story. Uh, no one important. Forget I even mentioned him. Uh-oh. Dun-dun-dun. Alright, let's search the room. Hey, JP! Welcome to the chat room. JP, weren't you telling me during the last stream of Fallout Shelter that you wanted to have a vault dweller named after you? I think I missed the comment the first time around, or, or I saw it and then I didn't get a chance to get to you because the game crashed or something. We can take care of that today while I'm here. I have no idea when I'll do another live stream of this game. I don't think there's any more holidays coming up that are going to have holiday quest lines. I don't know, I could be wrong, but... I may not have another holiday quest to do until Halloween. I didn't actually do all of the Halloween themed quests back at Halloween. So those might still show up in October. But that's a long time to wait between now and then. <laughs> Thank you. 
Unless there's something for 4th of July. I don't know if there is. Or Memorial Day. I'm trying to think what other holidays can be between now and Halloween. Not much. Mother's Day? Father's Day? I don't know if they do quests for that. Is it me or did talking about their missing brother make them uneasy? Yeah, it definitely seemed to make them uneasy. Going on with that. All right, well, maybe we should do this in order and not skip any rows. Sometimes with these quests, the storyline gets out of order if you skip a row. <laughs> All this for some old legend. Yeah, no kidding, Kate. Seems like a lot of trouble for a circuit board. I'm about ready to go home now. We're gonna have to give Marie Christine a stim pack pretty soon. Oh, nothing to fight in here. Oh, please don't shoot. Is that Brother Will? I think I got separated from the group. I thought I'd seen our missing brother Will and tried to follow him. Oh my. In the end, it was just a huge mole rat standing on its hind legs. Oh, well, maybe you need some glasses, my friend. How long has brother Will been missing? What's wrong with brother Will? What can you tell us about Easter? What's wrong with brother Will? I'm pretty sure I can't talk about it, but I fear he's lost his mind. Ooh. Does he think he's a bunny rabbit named Harvey? And I'm not going to worry about the critical, so they're almost dead. Okay. Now let's come down to this room. I wonder if we're going to find Brother Will or if that's going to be the next quest in the quest line. Ooh, that's a big mama mole rat. Brother Will, is that you? <laughs> Yeah, let's let's do the critical on on this thing. There we go. Oh, is that the magical circuit board we were looking for? I think it is. The quest is complete. Ah, oh, but we don't want to give up yet. We've still got a basement to search. Oh, JP says yes, please. <laughs> okay, we'll make you a character. One more room. Alright, let's heal everybody up. There we 
go. And we are all done with this. We have recovered the sacred circuit board. And now it's back to the vault for us. We found one soda. That'll help offset the cost of bringing everyone back early. It should take... Uh, if it took eight hours for them to get there, I think it should take eight hours to get back. So four sodas. I think it's one soda. Yeah. Oh, they're going to let me come back in three. Okay. Sure. All duplicates. Because I already have all the things. Okay. Now they're coming back into the vault. All right, JP. You don't want a, a vault dweller named JP. You want a vault dweller named after your Fallout character? A redhead named Alexandra. Who is melee focused? Okay. Um. All right. Let me see if I have any redheads. I can change her hair color though. I can take her to the uh, take her to the salon. So I've got a few. I've got Alice. I've got Amanda. I'm looking at the ones that are level. Here, let's do this. Level fifty that aren't already named for someone else. Barbara. Brooke. I mean, any of these ladies I can grab. Ellen. Grace. Jessica. I can grab them and put them in the salon, make their hair red. Joyce. And we can also train up their skills. Now they're all level 50, but they don't have their skills maxed out. Kathy. Marie. Any of the ladies that have these um, hard hats on? They're characters that used to work in other rooms, but then they reached level 50, and so I moved them into the warehouses. It's good to have characters, because people who work in the warehouse will not level up. So when they've maxed out their level is when I put them in the warehouse, and it's good to have people in the warehouses if there's uh, an enemy that shows up. If there's, uh, you know, rad roaches or rad scorpions or something like that, mole rats come up. It's good to have people there to fight them. But you don't want to put people in the warehouses unless they have a high level, because otherwise they just won't level up at all. Or unless you rotate them out with other people. But that's what these ladies are. These, All these ladies with the hard hats on, they're all available for naming. And they're not otherwise working in other places. Like, she's working in the reactor. There's Wendy. Wendy's working in the warehouse. Emily's in the warehouse. But yeah, lots of ladies to choose from. Hey, Sir Cobb! Welcome to the chat room. JP likes Jessica. Okay. Which one was Jessica? <laughs> I'll go back to alphabetical order and find her. Jessica! Okay. Let's find Jessica. Alright, there is Jessica. Now, you said you liked melee. The pickaxe is a pretty good melee weapon. It does up to 21 damage. I don't know if there's much. Hang on. All, okay, stats. Now, the fire hydrant bat is probably one of the best melee weapons you can get, but I only have one of those because it's legendary and Rose has it. 
<laughs> the, the vault dweller who's named after my uh, Fallout 4 character, so I'm not giving up that bat. If I get another bat, I'll give it to her if you want me to, but I'm not going to give that one up. It's roses. <laughs> uh, there's also this relentless raider sword, but that one's assigned to someone already. Those are pretty hard to find. I could probably make one in the, uh, in the workshops, but it would take a while. Uh, let's see if I've got anything else that's there's not a lot of melee weapons in this game most of the weapons are ballistic laser plasma flamethrowers um, so yeah other than that we got not a whole lot here There we go. So we got the pickaxes. I'm just going to go ahead and give her that for right now. Um, I think there are some knives in the game, but they don't do very much damage. If we go down here past the pickaxes. Yeah, so there's a butcher knife, but it'll only do 8 to 18. I'll give it to her if you want me to. Oh, and there's baseball bats. Those are just the standard baseball bats, not the ones with the little fire hydrants on the end. Not the, not the legendary maxed out baseball bat. There's a kitchen knife. It doesn't do much damage. So pickaxe is probably your best bet. Unless I can make another bat or make another sword for you. Alright, and then as far as outfits... You know, there's a lot to choose from. I don't know if you want to do like power armor. If you do power armor, you won't be able to see her face though. So there'd be no point in making her hair red. We wouldn't be able to see it. Uh, bounty hunter gear is pretty cool looking. We have dresses of all kinds. Battle armor. Battle armor is pretty cool. It's kind of like combat armor in the game. Leather armor. Oh, I've got some more metal armor. I'll show you what that looks like. It comes with a motorcycle helmet. All right, let's pick her up and put her in the salon. Where's the salon? Oh, and we're getting a raider attack. Since the last time I saw you, you were playing Skyrim. That was last year, I think. <laughs> yeah, I was playing a lot of Skyrim for a while. Every once in a while, I go back and play a little more Skyrim. I was doing it on Mondays for a while. Skyrim Monday. I do Fallout Fridays and Skyrim Mondays. Try it Tuesdays. But I kind of stopped everything for a while so I could play uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. I finally finished Horizon Zero Dawn, so now I'm just messing around playing some other things. Uh, see, this is garbage. We'll sell that. Heal up our sentinels. Finish collecting caps from the raiders. Alright. Alright, so JP is saying a pickaxe works for you. Um, red dress is what I wear when I one shot behemoths after a bit of drugs and booze. <laughs> nice. All right. Well, I think I've got a red dress in here. Did we see a red dress? I think I saw one. Let's look. I could have swore. There we go. Vault socialite. Oh, nice. I like it. 
Okay. So let's do red hair. Alright, now this is kind of brown. There were a few shades of red. There's kind of a, this is sort of auburn. Uh, there's a hot pink. There's an orange. And there's a bright red. So you'll have to tell me what you want. And also hairstyles. I'll cycle through some of the hairstyles. And you tell me what you like. Just tell me hairstyle number and color number. You could go bald. Oh, you like the bright red? This one? And you said number two. You like that one? We can do that. Does she have freckles or anything? I can do like blush or freckles. A mole. Eyelashes. <laughs> so many customization features once you build the salon in your fallout shelter. She wear a mask. <laughs> Do Furiosa. Have scars, wrinkles, glasses, goggles, monocle. <laughs> All kinds of things. That one's funny. If you guys remember where that's from in Fallout 4. <laughs> okay, clean face. Got it. Yeah, no red bandana available in this game. All right, let's go with this. Now, I would rename her, except that uh, as we learned last time, I tried to rename characters. It crashes the game sometimes. And I don't want to run the risk of crashing this live stream until I am ready to finish it. So we will come back to Jessica and try to rename her before the end. You want to name her Alexandra, right? I want to continue on with the springtime for Adam questline, the sixth son. Rescue the church's missing brother. We think Brother Will, the church initiate who has gone missing, may have been kidnapped by a band of raiders camped nearby. We'll send a team to rescue him, then inform Confessor Alvarado if and when we've brought him back to safety. Alright, so let's do it. I am going to send... Let's see here. Let's send Rose. My vault dweller who is named after my second soul survivor who I've been playing on Fallout Fridays. And we'll send out Paladin Dance with her because that's who she's romanced with. There he is. Uh, I think the two of them can handle it. I'm going to just send the two of them. Because look, it only requires level 15 and damage of 5. I think they are going to be just fine. Let's find out. I'll still give them the max Simpax. Let's see what happens.
rescue Brother Will from the raiders. Because when you want something done right, you're going to send in Rose with her baseball bat. Granny's kiss. <laughs> and Dance has Vengeance, which is the legendary Gatlin laser. I didn't even give him any pets. That's how much I believe in the two of them. <laughs> I love how she doesn't even really swing it. She just kind of pokes them with it. Alright. Fault dwellers, you have no business here. Turn around and leave before we unleash our fury on you. Ooh, is Fury an Alpha Deathclaw? That would be fun. You've been warned. Release Brother Will and no harm will come to you. I'll see your Fury and raise you by a wrath. Here's a warning for you. Get out of my way or I'll kill you. Release Brother William. Brother Will. I don't know why I'm calling him by his full name. <laughs> uh, I'll see your Fury and raise you by a wrath. That's what Rose would say. Of course, Dance would want to go with the no harm will come to you option. Nah, he wouldn't. They're raiders. He'd be in for it. That's it. We're all in. Okay. Let's go. Bonk. Bonk. Here we go. Now this is a little bit bigger than the ones we've done before. I think the quests get just slightly more difficult and they get slightly larger each time. As you go through a progression in the quest line. Oh, you think they can handle a couple of rat roaches? I don't know. <laughs> Nothing to see here, huh? that critical on them. They're almost dead. Ooh, what's this? You dwellers are brave, but the brother is under our protection. Protection? If you want to kill him, you'll have to go through us first. We don't want to kill him. We want to save him from you guys. Do your worst, dwellers. What? We don't want to kill him, but return him to the children of Adam. If go through you we must, then go through you we will. What do you mean under your protection? Yeah, we don't want to kill him. Well, you'd better talk to him then, as he doesn't want to go back. Well, I don't blame him. Oh, they're not going to fight us. Okay. That's a friendly bunch of raiders. <gasps> there he is! Dwellers, please listen to me! I am Brother Will! <gasps> oh, I wonder if we can get him as a vault dweller. 
You have to stop Confessor Alvarado's plans before Easter arrives. That's when he plans to detonate a 20 megaton bomb, aka the Sixth Sun. Fortunately, I hid the bomb's main circuit board before running away. Uh-oh, I think we found the main circuit board. Circuit board, you say? Oops. Why does he want to detonate this bomb? When is this Easter supposed to take place? Circuit board? Oops. I'm going to go with that one. Why? Has he found it? If so, we're all doomed. Oh no, we're going to have to fix this. Oh, we got more bottles. Let's continue on and see what else we find. The quest is finished. It's got a little exclamation point up there, which means we're all done. No, 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 I don't want to go that way. No, 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 go this way, go this way. But I'm going to keep exploring. All right, now we'll use the criticals. There we go. Yeah. To heck with Nuka Cola, I need a stiff whiskey. <laughs> oh, you and me both, Rose. Go, go, go. Up the elevator. I told you they could handle it. Really, one whack of that bat should kill a rad roach. Honestly. These are some very tough rad roaches. to Brother Will. We were going to rescue him, but he's actually safer with the raiders because he doesn't want to go back to the Children of Adam. I'm kind of disappointed that we didn't get to bring him with us back to the vault. But alright. He wants to stay with the raiders. I guess he can stay with the raiders. I think there's only one quest left in this springtime for Atom quest lines. Let's spend our bottles to bring them back. All right, Kimberly is still out there being awesome. And we have this wasteland doctoring quest. Which is not part of the springtime for Atom quest line. It's just one that I just happened to send some folks out to do. All right, so they're coming back. So I think we have one more left. The Easter Egg Hunt. Find out more about the alleged nuclear bomb, okay? Well, let's get Rose and Dance back into the vault. Oh, we've got some folks here. Let's move him to do that one. 
Let's move him. We'll leave him in there. He needs some luck. He needs some charisma. She needs some perception. Alright. Oh, Alan is still wandering around. Let's grab him. Put him in there. Paladin Dance is on coffee break. Come on, dance. Let's put him back in here. This is where I think they were. Oh, right. We've got to grab Marie Christine and put her back. Work on her skills. Let's max out her skills. And grab Rose. She's there. Put her in there. Who else is on coffee break? Kate. Kate. You should come. Well, we'll put you right there. Why not? Alright. So. Is there anything else we need to deal with here in the vault? Oh, there's somebody. Leveling up a skill. Let's move him down here. Leveling up a character. Leveling up that character. Alright. I think there's one quest left. Yeah. No, no. Two. This is the fifth. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I gotta, gotta get a move on. We've been invited to the Children of Adam's annual Deathclaw egg hunt. This is a good opportunity to validate Brother Will's claims that the church plans to detonate a large nuclear bomb on Easter Sunday. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, Ice Stella just joined us in the chat room, so let's send Ice Stella out on this quest. And she likes to travel with Kate, so we'll send Kate out on this quest. And we'll send Alan out since he's still here in the chat room, I think. You guys can go on the Death Claw egg hunt. Oh, it's going to cost a lot of bottles. I hope I have enough bottles to finish this quest line. I probably should have given Istella and Kate some pets to boost their stats, but I think they'll be all right. I think this was only a level, what, level 16 or something quest? And they're level 50? I think they'll be fine. Welcome to our first annual Easter egg hunt. Eggs are a wonderful representation of atom full of potential. Okay. Deathclaw eggs most of all because of all the power they hold in their small shells. May atoms smile on your fortunes. Mm hmm. Anything else we should look out for? Large emits radiation. This egg hunt is the bomb. Get it? The bomb. <laughs> we'll have megatons of fun. I'm going to say that one. I still is saying, woohoo, we'll rock it. 20 to be precise, or I mean, uh, oh, did he just admit that they've got a 20 megaton nuclear device they're gonna blow up? Roast them, I Stella. Roasted Rad Roach is on the menu. Do 
you think there really is a nuclear bomb here? Yes, Kate, I do. Mole rat flambe. This is just going to be a walk in the park. I wonder if I can get through it without even using any stim pack. Alright. Any luck finding those death claw eggs? Oh, we're probably going to have to fight a death claw, I bet. At the end of this. It's tough. These critters are quite protective. thought I did, but it turned out to be some kind of big bomb. Do you really think this will save daylight? Are you guys planning on detonating a nuclear bomb? We could ask them point blank, couldn't we? We'll say that. See what they say. Oh yeah, that. Never mind that. Just find some eggs. Hmm. <laughs> What have we here? We have some stim packs. And caps. I have so many caps. I don't even know what I would spend them all on. Dead rat on the floor, how charming. Yeah, you keep your diner much cleaner than that, don't you, I Stella? Oh, see, here we go. I wonder if death claw eggs are any good to eat. Supposedly. Isn't there a death claw Wellington, Wellingham, whatever recipe in Fallout 4? I think there was a death claw recipe in Fallout New Vegas, too. It's been a while since I played that game. It was an omelet of some kind, wasn't it? I don't think we've actually found eggs yet. I'm not going to use criticals on rad roaches. I'm just not. Aw, that's mean. <laughs> Request never to be assigned with you again. Oh no. You're just joking. You're just joking. We know you love Kate. Look there, behind that pile of deathclaw dung. Ew. Right there, in the hidden section that can only be seen from this angle. <laughs> it's the nuclear bomb. We found it. Basically meaning the player can't see it, but we can. Take our word for it. Wow, it's really big and impressive, too. <laughs> Alright. Oh, we have a lunchbox. And some plans. Alright, one little room left. What's gonna be in here? Just some duct tape. Okay. Alright, well, we did. We got through the whole thing without using a single stim pack or right away. But I'm gonna go ahead and heal everyone up before I send them back to the vault. Oh, Nemo says, no, I love Curie and Dixie. Kate is too scary. Oh, oh, you like Dixie, but Kate is too scary. <laughs> all right, all right. Sure. All 
All right, uh, reach now. Yes, let's send them back. Oh, Nemo's telling me to do an Irish accent for Kate. No, I don't know if I could do that. I don't want to embarrass myself. <laughs> I don't know, it might not be any worse than her accent in the game. I don't know. Alright, let's grab them when they come back in. And put Istella back in her diner. Kate can go into the nope, no room for Kate in the diner. I'll put them in the warehouse here. See, because when we get attacked by death claws, they rampage across the top, and then they come, they drop down here, and then they go into this room. So that's why I keep a lot of really strong, high-level people in these two rooms here. Jeez, Bottle and Cappy are coming again. I don't want to deal with you, Bottle and Cappy. Not right now. I should assign those folks to something. Um, okay, weapon plant. See, now I should make another legendary weapon, but I probably don't have the materials to make what I would need to make. Um, let's see. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Don't have the materials I need to make the weapons I am missing. I've got to find some more materials in order to make the things. Oh, Rad Roach infestation. Oh. They're all good. I heard bottle. There's bottle. I know, and I hear Cappy doing his little dance, shaking his money maker. Oh, he's up here. All right, that's fine. We've got one last quest to do: saving daylight. Stop the children of Atom from blowing up the area. Oh, we get rewarded with some rags. Aw, oh, he didn't even give me any bottles. What a jerk. Oh, and I heard the mysterious stranger music. There he is. He was hiding in the elevator. Yeah, I don't need any more caps. I need the bottles. There's bottle. Come on, bottle, give me some bottles of soda. I'm getting dangerously low. We'll be able to finish this last quest though. It'll be fine. Oh, no, he's leaving. I bet he's leaving. There he goes. All right, let's open our lunch box and see what we get. Oh, more Nuka Quantum. Yay! That's handy. Ramen hide. I don't think I need that. Ooh, ooh, the business suit. Hot damn. The business suit is one of the outfits I don't have, and the only way to get it, as far as I know from what I've read online, is to find it in a lunchbox. So I can cross it off my list. Oh, that's awesome. Best lunchbox ever. I take back all the bad things I said about you, Lunchbox. Excellent. Now I can go down here to my outfits. And there it is, business suit. I have it now. Oh, that's awesome. I just 
just need that one and that one. Actually, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven total outfits that I don't have, but only one of them I'm able to make. The others have to be found through various means, and so I don't know if that's ever going to happen. Alright. Let's do the last quest. Saving daylight. We need to stop Confessor Alvarado and the Children of Adam before they detonate their 20 megaton nuclear device, lest the entire area be vaporized. Oh, good night. Who's saying good night? Who's leaving? Oh, Nemo is off to chill before bed. All right, Nemo, thanks for being here. <laughs> I still are talking about scarfing down bourbon chocolates. Oh, that sounds good. Okay, who are we gonna send out? You know who I wanna send out on this? I'll tell you who I want to send out on this. I'm going to send Zephyr Silvertongue, named after my favorite character in Skyrim, my favorite Dragonborn. She has the expert brother of steel uniform because it looks like her nightingale armor. And she has the dragon's maw, which is the legendary plasma thrower because she is the dragonborn. And of course, she has to go out with Teldrin. I do have a Teldrin Sero in here. There he is. Ha 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 ha! Yes. All right. I think they'll be fine. Just the two of them. Let's go. Stop a nuclear bomb. I do archery a lot in Skyrim, but there's not a bow and arrow in this game, so we had to go with the dragon's maw. I thought that was appropriate. Now this should be the last quest in the Springtime for Atom quest line. And I don't know if there's going to be any more special holiday quest lines anytime soon but if there is then I'll do another live stream so just watch my YouTube channel my live streams for updates I'll let you know or uh, it'll be posted on my patreon page patreon.com slash jewelsmith just like my YouTube channel jewelsmith or you can follow me on Twitter to find out if I'm going to be streaming any more Fallout Shelter. And of course, all of my previous Fallout Shelter streams are archived on my YouTube channel, as well as several walkthrough videos. It's the Vault Dwellers. They must have learned of our plans in spite of our legendary secrecy. Kill them before they find Confessor Alvarado, who's just a bit further away. <laughs> Don't let them get their hands on the bomb. Don't you guys realize the blast will kill you too? Yeah, about that secrecy thing, you guys aren't very good at it. The blast will kill you too. They don't care, they want division. You're wrong, and don't count on us to reveal how daylight savings will let us live. Hmm, that's weird. Surrender yourselves to Atom. No, I don't think so. I 
I can't zoom in any further than I'm already zoomed in, unfortunately. I wish I could. I'm starting to think this was a mistake. So am I, so am I. No, it's not a mistake to save the world or, you know, save the vault and save all the folks that will get blown up by the bomb. That's not a mistake. You'll be fine. Rejoice! Easter is upon us. Yeah, are you going to explain exactly what that means? The dying sun will be replaced by a brand new one. No, I don't think that's how it works. You'll be washed away with all other sinners. Mm. A good wash wouldn't do you any harm yourself. You would sacrifice yourself for Atom. If we're now on the fifth sun, what happened to the other ones? Yeah. What's up with that? That's a very good question. Let me get back to you on that. <laughs> oh, I guess they're not going to fight us. Okay. We stumped them. They're too busy thinking to fight. Ooh, here we go. We got some rad scorpions. I might actually have to use a stim pack. Or not. Alright, we're all the way up on the top floor. This is it. I'm scared. <laughs> ah, dwellers, we meet again. How do you like my new look? Who is that? The old Alvarado is part of the past now. This is a new me for a new age. Blessed Daylight Saving Time will safely carry us one hour into the future after the blast. You will perish in flames while we are transported into a new era. Yeah, that's not how that works. I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. <laughs> that's what I just said. You fool, you won't be transported into the future. You'll die as well. Why not wait until tomorrow and see if the sun is still there? We'll go with you, fool. La 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 la, I can't hear you. Yeah, typical. Religious fanatic. Oh, he's got a raider sword. I want one of those. him. And we got that. Whatever that's. Professor Cromwell's rags. I think I already had a set of those. Got them from another quest. Oh, what do we get? A puppy! Alright, we'll go ahead and heal them up. Not bad. Saving Daylight. Is the doggies named Daylight? Sure, let's go back. It's 
German pointer, okay. Alrighty, well, I think that was the end of the springtime for Atom quest line. We got a donkey. I'm gonna go ahead and spend the soda to bring them back and find out more about the dog. Oh, we already had the recipe for the butcher knife. Yeah, had a bunch of stuff that we don't need. Alrighty. Let's take a look at the puppy dog. Alright, we have Cocoa Bean! Oh, how cute! Times for Wasteland Return Speed. Ooh, that's pretty cool. So I guess that means that if we send somebody out with Cocoa Bean and we want to bring them back, they'll come back four times as fast. Oh my gosh, that is really handy. Oh, Polly, we should assign Polly to somebody to do six, six more damage. Well, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna assign Polly to up here for right now. <laughs> Alright, Teldrin is up here. I don't remember where they were. Let's put him in here for now. They can help out right there. All right, well, we did all of the springtime for Atom quests, but we have one quest left that's been sitting here on standby, ready to go. Wasteland doctoring. Bring medical aid to a nearby settlement. We will go ahead and do this one since it's all queued up and ready. We've picked up a radio transmission. A nearby settlement has sick and wounded in need of help. Now, one of the requirements for this is that I had to send everyone out in these uh, wasteland surgeon outfits or wasteland doctor outfits, whatever they are. So I had to have an outfit for each person. Sometimes the quests are like that. They have certain requirements of certain clothes you have to wear or certain weapons you have to take with you or your dwellers have to have certain stats or be a certain level or have a certain weapon with a certain damage, whatever. But in this case, they all needed to be wearing these Wasteland Medic outfits. Let's see how big the building is. Not very big. All right, so who do we have here? We have BJ Rover, who is named after one of my longtime viewers, BJ20715 and supporter on Patreon. BJ has got a hardened fat man and we have Lark Ruin, also named for a longtime viewer and supporter. She's got the Tuned Alien Blaster. Oh, and uh, Chester. Doggy. And we have Crystal. Crystal Cash. She is named after another one of my longtime viewers. And she has an Alien Blaster and a kitty cat. Well, first room was a freebie, I guess. Ooh, Deathclaw! Alright, who's taking the aggro from the Deathclaw? BJ's taking the aggro from the Deathclaw. Gotta watch him very carefully and keep him stimmed up so he doesn't die. Deathclaw's on his last leg. We got him. Ooh, okay. A rare mercenary outfit.
Holy shit. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Ooh, we did five damage. Nice. Oh, that was tough. Yeah, see, sometimes these quests can get tough. Got a bunch of right away. Ooh, we got... Oh, we got power armor. Who's going to wear that? really going to help him much? It doesn't seem like it's helping him a whole lot. What about her? Well, it gives her more strength. That's decent. She's good to go. Alright, let's go like this for now. Yeah, I like that better. Let's go with that. Another death claw. And there's BJ taking the aggro again. Oh my gosh. some of my legendary junk. Well, legendary weapons and armor. I need legendary junk. <laughs> that is a piece of legendary junk. Right, I'm going to go for this top room first. got a couple of floors to clear. Let's go for the big room. Oh, you're watching me on the big screen now, Isella. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, I don't know if we're going to make it through this one, you guys. Seriously. I'm just gonna go to Oh, five damage, thank God. Oh, oh my gosh. Another giddy up buttercup.
What is the objective here? Talk to the settlement leader. We haven't even found the settlement leader. What the hell? We're just finding nothing but death claws. All right, the settlement leader's got to be in here. Your doctors, thank goodness. I managed to drag all the sick and wounded here. Can you help us? I don't know. Do I have any stim packs left? Don't worry, we'll patch you all up. You owe us big time, but I guess we'll help. Speedy medical service, courtesy of your friendly neighborhood vault. You vault dwellers are amazing. Thank you. We got a lunchbox. Ooh, and some military duct tape. And uh, some legendary plans or something, it looks like. Alright, there's one room left to explore. And there's nothing. Oh, there's one little weapon in it. Okay. Oh, wow. That used a lot of stim packs. But we did it. That was fun. Let's go back to the vault. I'm not going to spend soda bottles to bring them all the way back. Because there's not another quest to do after this one. <laughs> I'll just let them come back in their own time. Yeah, I'm not going to spend six bottles for that. But I think that is a stream for me. Oh, wait. Here, we finished up. We finished her hair. JP's character. JP wanted to name her Alexandra. Ooh, and we got the mysterious stranger likes her too. Alright, now what might happen is I might try to name this character and the game will glitch. And then I'll have to end the stream. But I'm, I'm ending the stream anyway, so that's why I'm going to go ahead and try to name this character. First, I'm gonna save. <laughs> I think the game auto saves frequently anyway. I've never lost any of my progress that I've noticed ever. Um, but all right, let's see here. Let's see what happens. Okay, we're gonna click. Nope, wrong button. Click this one. There we go. All right, now you said Alexandra, right? Oh, good night, Barbarian King. <laughs> Thanks for being here. You didn't tell me if you wanted a vault dweller named after you, too. I'll just grab one and, and name him Barbarian King. Maybe we'll put a crown on him. Would a Barbarian King wear a crown or wear something else? Probably a skull or something. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> A skull crown. Alright. Alexandra. We're just gonna do... We're gonna do this. Alexandra JP. So we'll know that it is JP's character. Now let's see if it's gonna work. And it didn't. See? And there the game glitched. I don't know why it does that. It did it last time too, so okay. I'm glad I waited till the end because now I, I what I'll do is I'll end the stream, close the game, restart the game, go in, name the character. It'll probably work after I, you know, turn the game off and on again. But turning the game off and on again would end the stream anyway, so I'll just have to say goodbye right here <laughs> and maybe go report this bug to Bethesda. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for the thumbs up. Thanks for hanging out with me this afternoon. 
I don't know what I'm going to play tomorrow, to be honest. Um, I was kind of thinking I would play Flippin' Death all this week. Uh, we tried it out on Try It Tuesday, but then I decided that I didn't want to continue with that. Um, I mean, not that it was a bad game. It was just um, not... I don't know. It, it had some game mechanics that were not my favorite, personally. So I just don't see the point in playing a game that I'm not going to enjoy completely. Uh, but it was a really interesting game, really fun game. Uh, the parts that I could get through, <laughs> the parts that frustrated me were the were the kind of jumping puzzle and timed trial things. I'm just not good at those in any video game, not just flipping death, but any any video game that has timed trials and jumping puzzles. As you guys know, if you've watched me play Horizon Zero Dawn, I didn't like doing the timed trials in that either, and I ignored most of the hunting grounds for that reason. Um, but at least I was able to get through Horizon Zero Dawn without having to do all of the hunting grounds. In the case of Flippin' Death, I don't think there's any way I could progress without completing some of the timed trial jumping puzzle stuff. So I just set that aside and decided to do this game because it had the springtime for Adam Quest line. And uh, I don't know what else I'm going to do. I've got a very special playthrough that is lined up for April. So I'll be starting that on April 1st. And of course, Friday is Fallout Friday and I will be doing a giveaway. I'll be giving away uh, a Fallout fan art poster. If you want to find out more about that, check out my Twitter or Patreon or we'll be talking more about it on Fallout Friday. Hope to see you then. Uh, other than that, yeah, I don't think I've got anything planned for tomorrow. So I may not stream tomorrow. I may take a day off and then see you guys on Fallout Friday. Oh, you're very welcome, JP. I'm sorry the game kind of glitched out here and you won't be able to see her name, but if and when I live stream this again, <laughs> she'll be there. I'll see if I can get the game restarted and get past this glitch. Bye, Michael. Good luck with Fallout Shelter. Hey, everybody, take care of yourselves. Until next time.